First, though, a short preview of my analysis of our new fairy tale princesses, namely those tough girls in Hollywood films. Katniss Everdeen from The Hunger Games, Bella Swan, Twilight, Tris Pryor, Divergent, and other strong and resourceful characters have decimated the fairy tale archetype of the helpless girl wanting to be rescued. Giving as good as they get, these young women access reserves of aggression to liberate themselves. The problem is that they still get as much or more than they give. Filmic representations of violence towards girls anesthetize their abuse in ways that not only normalize violence, including sexual violence, but also valorize it. These films send double messages. On the one hand, they give us heroines for whom no means don't even try it or you'll get hurt. And on the other hand, they delight in violence to towards girls as if abuse is a normal part of coming of age. Unfortunately, it's all too true that violence and abuse are part of the lives of girls and young women. Yet reveling in the assault of girls and young women on film works to further normalize violence against girls, even as it, in the case of some of these films, it gives us fantasies of feminist Avengers who fight against it. In Hunting Girls, I examined popular culture's fixation on representing young women as predators and prey and the implication that violence, especially sexual violence, is an inevitable, perhaps even celebrated part of a girl's coming of age. To underscore the threat of these depictions, I locate their manifestation of violent sex in the growing prevalence of campus rape and the valorization of women's lack of consent 